Let's just say you experienced an earthquake and you wanted to know more about this event. So you open the USGS page and you see this thing. This video isn't going to dive deep into the science behind it. It is only so that you understand what the beach balls or moment tensors mean. I might make a future video describing the science in more detail, but for now just watch this video from Iris Earthquake Science if you want to know more. Basically, if the blue part is in the middle, it is caused by reverse or thrust faulting, or when one crustal block rises over the other. If the middle part is white, it is caused by normal faulting, or when one crustal block slides down another. If there are two quadrants of blue and white, it's a strike slip fault, where one crustal block slides past another. If it's all blue, it's an explosion, not an earthquake. If you want to know more about the fault that caused the earthquake, you must do the following. Draw arrows on the quadrants like so. On the blue part, draw the arrows away from the corner, vice versa on the white part. This should give you two possible motions that caused the earthquake. To know which one caused the earthquake, you need more information of the local geology and the earthquake, though we can guess using common sense. Take the 2018 Palu earthquake. Just by looking at the shake map, we can already tell that the fault responsible is the one heading north-south. Keep in mind that in other sources, the blue could be changed for another color, but the white part always stays white. 